Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Shit. Or were you always that ugly? <laughs> oh. Hey. Thanks for back there. Save my ass. Maybe you're one of us after all. No matter what happens, I never forget the people I owe. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. They're of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. No more half asses. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Directly into the brain? Not sure I can watch this. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? I wish there was another way. You got this, Bell. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one.
see fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Assist. Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Bell, I need you to turn around and go into the cave. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with me. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents.
Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. job to do according to your debrief you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing the VC were on the ground searching for survivors you readied your bow to take them out silently
The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. You mentioned crossing the bridge near the village, but the bunker was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. You stirred up a hornet's nest! Use his hopper support, eh? Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA two minutes. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Clark wrote some notes here. Said this section could trigger seizures. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here you go. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You 
have readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. at the bunker across the bridge. God damn it, Bell, we're running out of time. You went left at the fort, not right. You allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Stuck, open it. Lazar, give Bell another injection. Do it now. Those are some serious convulsions. Someone do something.
comrades. The United States and its allies slowly consume them. I'll survive another round. You're asking me? Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Now, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job. We have a job. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. They're coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you are one of them. We think Perseus cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duga alive. 
We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solopetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of me. I don't want the competition. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MK Ultra program, Bell. They gave you new memories, things constructed out of Adler's. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, come on, you got a job to do. You got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell. I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green like Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. 
to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. I know that. Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Guns up! Contact!
Hudson, we're running out of time. I gotta tell Hudson to launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't clear. Hudson, start your bombing run. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Adler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun. You better hurry the fuck up. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bill. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bill. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Well, we did finally get Aldrich, that son of a bitch. Perseus's network is still intact, though, and they'll eventually rebuild.
What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 